Hey guys, let's talk about Lego. Andy here with you, and I appreciate you taking me along here. Got another, yet another parts order in uh, yesterday, and it's uh, quite the colorful parts haul here. We've got two by threes in light gray tiles, two by eight plate. We got some of those little doohickeys, the stud with the uh, bar on it. Some quarter rounds, some of them little light gray brackets, some Technic one by ones. Some of this stuff is for uh, building railroad crossings. Yeah, I, 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 like I said last video, I did some research on uh, how to build a railroad crossing. So some of this stuff is for that project. We had some green quarter rounds, got some lighter uh, leaves for tree building. We got some one by one modified the little clip uh, pieces we got flowers we got one by one tiles in yellow we've got uh those little round uh brown pieces for tree trunks for putting around technic axles we got some one by four in uh light gray some more flowers some one by ones and one by twos in red some of those uh, one by one studs in transparent red. Those are for the railroad crossing lights. Some one by eight tiles in light gray. Those are also for the railroad crossing for the for the tracks. And we got some black snot bricks. I don't know if you can see those too well on here, but they're the uh, two by twos, or not really two by. They're one by twos by two. Uh, snot bricks those are uh, those are really handy and then we've got some two by two the 90 degree angles with the 45 degree cut there on the edge which you put two of those together you get a nice little railroad crossing x got some one by twos in white and then there's another uh, bin of two by eights in light gray and that is it for this particular order and for just a basic update of the city building, as uh, you can see here, uh, still got to build this section right here of uh, tracks, ballast tracks. I've got this section built right next to the switch, which I looked up online on YouTube how to ballast a switch, and it's quite part intensive, <laughs> what I found anyway. So I've got to order some parts to do that, but um, I, I did place an order for to Denmark for more of this uh, 16 by 16 green plate that I'm using underneath the train tracks. So that stuff's like $2.61, I think, a piece. Those things aren't cheap, but um, and it takes nine of them uh, for each 48 by 48 base plate. Well, six of them in this case, because I'm only using on the tracks and, and not on the uh, on the other side, but eventually that will have to be filled in. I think I bought like 110 of them. Uh, just to start off with, which will get me a, a a little ways around the track here. Do you guys, does anybody else have this problem where when you uh, push down your your plate onto the, the mills plate, it keeps popping up in other places? That's that's what I've experienced with this. This is a green plate anyway. Obviously, the more two by twos you put down underneath of it, the better you are, the more connection plates places you have. But, um, but yeah, I was having an awful time one, one night with this. I, it was before I added some more two by twos, but it was like, I was pushing it down. It was snapping into place and it would pop back up again in one place. And I, you know, I snap it back down there and it'd pop up somewhere else. And it was, it was really frustrating. And I was like, you know, thinking to myself, this is high quality Lego. This isn't knockoff stuff. So. I don't know why I was having that problem, but I'm uh, just curious if anybody else has had that issue in the past. I added some vegetation in between the tracks here, as you can see. I don't know if that's going to be permanent. I think it looks okay, but I mean, I, I'm not the I'm not a mock builder. I mean, I'm, I'm I am a mock builder. I'm getting into being a mock builder, but. I'm starting out, so I'm a freshman in, in terms of that kind of stuff. So you guys let me know. Does that look okay? Does that look decent for, you know, greenery or, or foliage or just, you know, uh, in between tracks? So you tell me. And then I've, I've still got trees to build. 
obviously, because I want to put more trees in here. But that's uh, kind of where I'm at right now. I wish I had more updates for you, but I mean, I would be I would be doing this track ballasting uh, all the way around if I had the parts to do it. I've got some eight by eight green plates, but I don't know if I want to use. I mean, it would take if it takes six of these just to do the section where the track is. And then, and, and, and that's 16 by 16, eight by eights is four, four, eight by eights per 16. So you'd be looking at four times six, it'd be 24, eight by eights. And I don't know if I want to use up my eight by eights on, on this when I've got 16 by 16s coming eventually. I thought about, I mean, I've got a whole ton of 16 by 16 uh, plates in other colors, like tan, light gray, dark gray, white. Uh, I think I even got some purple ones, lilac and some sand green and stuff like that. But, um, I mean, this is train track. I, I don't want, to, uh, it's, I mean, I'm not tiling it off. So I mean, it's going to be green, you know, in the middle and, and, and on the sides and stuff. I mean, after the switch, there should be a single track. So it'll be on the sides, but I want it all to be green. So, so I'm going to have to wait for that plate to be able to finish any more of this uh, track ballasting or anything. But in the meantime, take a look at my telephone poles. What do you guys think? of my telephone poles. Here's my take on it. I've got the, the poles there spaced uh, about 30 studs apart. I think that looks great. And then over here, I put them closer together and actually ran those, uh, I think they're called outer cables from, from Lego between those four poles right there. What, what do you guys think of that? I personally think that makes them too close together. Um, I have not been able to find an outer cable any longer than that. Uh, what do you suggest for uh, for running wires between telephone poles, like if they're this far apart right there? Or maybe you suggest not putting any wires on at all. I don't know. I think they look great um, that uh, with that spacing. And I think these just look too darn close together. So let me know what your take is on that. I will uh, continue to upload videos as often as I can. Like I said, I wish I had more done uh, for an update for you, but that's that's kind of where I'm at right now. I've just got this new this new order I need to file in the drawers, if I have room, and uh, go from there. But hopefully, uh, oh, well, I've still got to go. I've still got to do some road plates. I've got plenty more road plates to build, trees to build, and all that stuff. It's just that that's it's that re repetitive in the background stuff that doesn't really, you know. Um, it doesn't, it's not really too exciting, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll update you as I go here and hopefully this channel can, can get off the ground pretty soon. That's it for me today. I appreciate you guys taking me along and let's talk about Lego. Thanks for watching. See you guys.